Hello everyone, I hope you're all doing beautifully well. For today's valued viewer request, we've got, oh, not a very valued viewer, Obi. Test the different, not please, just test the different flak in World War II asset pack to find the most deadly. And also, there is a KDO-40 flak director slash ranger that you can put in. Does it make any difference to the accuracy of the 38mm? Now, I've been putting this off for about half a year now because it seemed a bit boring. However, the more we look into this, the more kind of cool and sexy it looks. There are various calibers of German anti-aircraft guns. We've got mainly the 88s, and the most famous, of course, you all know is the 88s, which were used as anti-air, but also as ground-to-ground, -ground, incredibly effectively, uh, as an anti-armor weapon. We're just going to look at its use as ground to air today because that's what it seems to be asking for in the question. We're going to probably only look at the 88. We've got four different types, the 18, the 36, the 37 and the Mark 41. We're going to compare the differences between those in terms of effectiveness and how much extra effect we get by adding a KDO 40 optical ranger director to uh, one of those said examples. We may then go look at the effectiveness of the lower range stuff, but it's really the 88, I think, is what we're interested in today. We like to keep things as scientific, as empirical as possible, so no me and RC running around, flying around, shouting. What we're gonna have here is a controlled experiment. We've got five setups, 10 times AAA 88 mil flak 18s, We've got 10 times and exactly the same with everything, with the same setup, with the same intelligence, the same everything. Mark 36s, Mark 37s, Mark 41s, all without KDO 40 directors. And then we've got this guy here, who is a Mark 18 set of 10 with an added KDO uh, 40 ranging director. So we'll be able to find out from this, hopefully, exactly how good each is. So if we start with the Flak 18, we're not, we can't figure out what the 18 actually means we think it's a probably a model number some people think it's a year but it seems to just be a model number the important things that we feel are rate of fire 15 to 20 muzzle velocity 820 meters per second with a maximum firing range of 45,000 feet lateral 37,000 feet vertical um, five tons so it's really a super heavy piece of kit these are and these were used for ground to ground and ground to air very effectively as you know later on we've got the type 36 there are small differences. The main things seem to stay the same. The velocity, the range, the rate of fire, and the stuff like that. We've then got the 37. Again, small changes throughout the years. The main credentials seem to be more or less the same. We've then got the 41, which doesn't appear to be in here, annoyingly, unless anyone else has found it. I couldn't find it. It is a, it's a proper upgunned variant with a different round, possibly a different barrel. Uh, it's got 1,000 meters per second, mu muzzle velocity, higher ranges, and some various other improvements. So we're going to see what differences we make there. So let's run the experiment. So we've got them, 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 all identical sets of B-17s that will not turn away or try and evade at 6,000 feet at 170 knots. Get ready for the first ones, which will be encountering, bum, 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 the Mark 18s. Now, Caucasus, so no stuttering and splurging, just perfect FPS even on I-5 RC. How do you feel about that? I feel great. I wonder what the bullet travel time is, only 6,000 feet. Are they going to fire, or are we going to have to shout the W word really friggin' loudly? Oh, bro, it's about time. Look at that RC. Wow, oh, that's amazing. <laughs> that's so friggin' cool. What are we testing here? Science! Oh, a big chunk just flew off it, I'll say. Did you see that? Yeah. The chunk just flew off the B17. What do you mean, not yet? Oh. Did you see yeah. the chunk come off? Yeah. I don't see any missing pieces, though. Yeah, that's a bit worrying. Why? We haven't done any damage. Which is annoying because in testing, it didn't work like this. Testing, we had the opposite problem. Okay, they're still firing, I'll see. I could fire better than I could do better than this with the bloody water pistol. I see, it's terrible. Jesus, look at that! You can actually see the bullets going up.
okay, would have stopped, and it was completely useless because, well, they're all fine, which is really disappointing. So the Mark 18 did absolutely zip zero. That's weird. In testing, they did the opposite. They just blew them all apart. So a bit annoying, but okay. Right, let's check the Mark, and I quote 36. Pickles, please stop doing that. They've got a cruise of 11. Oh, hello. They've got a cruise of 11 RC, but there are only two guys in here. Could a two-man operate this? I don't think so. You need a loader. You need you need everything, wouldn't you? Looks like they're going to fire at the same range. Barrel looks slightly different. Here we go. See them firing, RC. These guys are getting closer, I think. Yeah. Oh, what he? Did you see what just happened? Yeah. Parachutes are out. Oh, two yeah. are down, two are down. Yeah. Mark 36 for the win. It makes oh, a massive it difference. Damage. So that's two down. This guy's damaged. I don't know what's... Oh, he's lost his, uh, his stabilizer look. Yeah. Wow. Is he flying still or is he crashing? He's crashing. Oh, that guy's hit. They're still flying. Pickles for home. What a difference, RC. No, parachutes. Of all the crew members. How cool is that? I can actually see. If you look close, look close enough, you can see the bullet come up. Because we're at 60 FPS. Awesome. What an awesome experiment. Who said this was going to be boring, RC? Uh, Obi did. Why does he, always, why does he act like that? Obi said this is going to be really boring, but I'd like you to test this. He did. So it just said test it. Oh, hang on. These guys are... No, they're all right. Oh, only one made it through, I see. Look. Oh! Is he undamaged? Oh, no, I was looking at the wrong guy. No. That guy's damaged. He was dead, basically. No, scratch that. Super got confused. Firing's still going on. The same range, but the firing's still going on. And he's finished. They're through. Right, so... On our data sheet, four guys... Oh, hang on. They definitely all survived in the other one. I don't know whether there's only two left, but they definitely all survived. And two survived from there. Here we go on the Flak 37. All right, let's see what the 37s are going to do. I'll say, pew, 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 lasers. Well, they're deciding not to fire. Shall we fire at all? Nah, let's just have a break. There we go. There it is, RC. Oh, did you shoot that, RC? Sorry, Pickles, but that was amazing. One literally just hit the petrol tank and it went nuts and blew up. Did you see that? I haven't seen that happen before. I've never seen that happen. He literally got a direct hit in the main tank. Oh, how about and one I think is damaged. Um, our Pickles has gone nuts because she's like, Daddy, why did you go so funny? That was amazing. That's the power of the Mark 37. God, oh, we'll see. Knocked his rudder off. This is such an effective Mark variant, this is. So even the bullets, bullets are coming in almost laterally. I can see the bullets are coming in almost laterally. It's really weird. Okay, that's it. It's done. Two escaped. And one got battered again. Right, here's the mighty Mark 41, guys. Look at the size of the barrel in this. You can see the difference. Look at this. You can see the size of the barrel compared to the man. That there yeah. is genius. I wonder if they're going to engage. Oh, you can see they've got the big shield as well. You can see the big shield. I'll see. Yeah. And I've got three men on it. I wonder why they've got a third man modelled. No, they're going to be equally useless and fire at the same useless time as well. Well, at least they're all being equally useless. Oh, look at that. Did you see that? Yeah, that's 
One down. This is possible. Two down. Out of two down already, I'll see. They do the same thing every time. What? Go up to the right? Yep. That's Bogachev coding. Okay, we're turning around yep. now. Look at them turn around. No random thing. Oh no, we're shooting at the wrong guys. They're shooting at the wrong guys. No, shoot at our guys, you douchebags. They're firing at the already dead guys. I don't think they're dead. They just... Well, they're not dead, but they're out. Uh, you know, they've, they've, they've broken mission. We told them they can't break formation. So if they've broken formation, it's because they can't. They, they, you know, they physically can't do it anymore. And it's annoying because these are going to get through now. But what am I supposed to do? Damn, it seems to seem to be the same effectiveness. Oh, a bullet went right through the camera. I threw out of range. Uh, we're gonna have a quick look at what a director unit does. Stand by, let's gonna have a look at the director. Seems like a rubber about the same. Huh? It looks like they're just not modeled differently in terms of, you know, actually sh effectiveness, probability, whatever. Because I would expect to see some variance in that. Yeah. Where's the director? Is it? I've put it there. You see, can you see it there? It's there. Oh. There would be two guys, yeah. one on the end. Actually, I don't know really how they work. Maybe four guys. Oh, there it is. Yeah. And uh, so. Does it do anything? Like, it's awesome. No, it won't, it won't be more. Okay. It just sits there and bees a director. <laughs> so this is a Mark 18 with a director? It's pointed at the ground, no wonder it's not. Now the interesting thing about the director, it ranges, and not only does it help the aiming, it also they set the fuse of the bullet by the director. I'll come back to that in a second, Davros. That's interesting because no one's dead. No one got hit by the 18s with a director. So they did it just the director problem. That's unexpected. Well, did the 18s not hit anybody? No, just not. Uh, the flak director is a stereoscopic range finder for height and range finding, same as on the big battleship guns. That's interesting. Oh yeah, they did. Yeah, they had the director tower. They had the stereoscopic devices up there. One hundred thousand air crew were shot down by flak in World War Two. Yowza! Looks like the flaks are using timed shells rather than proximity fuses. Yeah, I'm I'm ninety nine percent sure that that's how it worked. Yeah, they got the range. The range. Well done. With their fuse. They're through. Well, no, they're still going. Still going. Done. No, they're still firing. Done. Okay. That's the end of that test. Results, guys. The the KDO40 does nothing. Are we happy with that? Yeah, it doesn't seem to do anything. Unless I've got it set up wrong. I mean, I've got it next to these guys, and I've got it as part of the group. I mean, what else am I supposed to do? Just doesn't seem to do anything. That answers that question. Which one's the most effective? Well, at the end of the day, running this experiment with the parameters I've shown, six thousand, six and a half thousand feet, 170 IAS, blah, 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 blah. They all basically did the same damage. This one did slightly less, but that's probably just due to a bit of, uh, you know, mathematics, statistical inaccuracy. To make this really accurate test, I'll have to run it 100 times and average the numbers, but we're not going to do that. Most we can justify is two or three hours per video like this. So they're all equally useful slash useless okay value viewers another data point we're just using the mark 18 with the b17s now flying at 26,000 feet uh, in fact let me planes are moving faster 
but they've still got the same IAS. I, I couldn't make them move at the same ground speed because uh, it would be problematic to get the aeroplane to work. So let's just see what happens at 26,000 feet. Oh, there we go. Well, they've gone all the way over before they spotted them. Oh, a bit weird, but okay. Not sure what that was. Oh, look, they're up there. I see you. Why didn't they see them in time? I mean, they had a big run up. They had like a 10 mile run up. I don't know. Maybe they didn't have the. Uh... Something's not right with these things. Don't, they're just not going to fire. Lost them now. Well, now you should put in the uh, right. detector, the stereoscopic thing, so that we can see. Right, so they just didn't fire. So, that's an interesting test. We ran, we had a 10 mile run up. Uh, in fact, let's see how big the run up was. That was about 15, 15 mile run up. I mean, how big a run up do you need? 26,000 feet. We fired one bullet. Okay. Let's rerun that with the director. Yeah, well over, well over 15 miles run up. They've got a director. In this case, there's no excuse for them not to fire. They can hit over 30, 37,000 feet, even the Mark 18. There they go. No, same thing. Even with the director. And the director is part of the group? Yeah, it's all, it's all done properly. Okay. Huh. No, they just don't work with... Uh, oh, there you go. No, they didn't oh. work. Yeah, uh, big well, that's a bit disappointing. Um, I don't know much about these guns. I'm pretty sure they could shoot something at 26,000 feet. Let me know your thoughts on that. They're just not really working properly at the moment, I don't think. The director doesn't make any difference. And to be honest, even though that one has apparently got more range, they don't use the extra range from what we can see. And the effectiveness appears to be exactly the same. Okay, valued viewers, let's do the next bit of the experiment. It's going to be less scientific, but more cool. We've got an arrangement of 10 flak 38, 20 mil cannon that is operated thus. We've then got 10 over here that are the flak feeling, the quad barrel, basically essentially the same thing, but the quad barrel version, which looks epic, like that. 10 of those, and then 10, I'm sure you all know, of Bofors 40 Mike Mike, the Swedish uh, gun that's just gone through time as being an excellent gun. They even had these on the Spectra gunships, do you remember? In like the 70s, yep. it's amazing. We're going to abuse RC. We have RC here, RC here, and RC there. He's going to attack each one in turn, and see how many of the units he can kill with his guns and that will equate to inversely how good that triple a is we wish you the best of luck rc honest put the nose down I can't start. don't get hit whatever happens rc <laughs> i'll try not to you're getting hit for science Oh, <laughs> hold on, I'll see go around. I think you got something. Oh, I'm in trouble. No, you're fine. You can paint too much. Oil all over the You'll be fine, I'll see. Just do the bombing, I'll see. Oh, is there. I don't have bomb. Well, okay, use your guns and I'll see. No, I don't have a uh, gun sight. You have a gun sight? Okay, well, you're oh, there. Um... It is. There it is, I've got it, I've got it. Oh. <laughs> well, I see. I mean, we can see why you get all the chicks from that, but in terms of effectiveness, uh, I'm not sure how good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you didn't kill any, right? No. Uh, okay, let's see how you do against the flak feeling thirty-eight. Spawn in. There's so many of them. Well, that's more to hit. It's good for you, RC. Great. Ooh. Ooh, this is going to be problematic for you, isn't it? Yeah, it is. It's just dead. Ooh. We all wish you the best, RC! Ah. Got one. Are you... No, did he? Oh, he did get one. Oh, you got three. A science is... <laughs> okay, good. You're really messing science up. You killed one... You killed loads. One... Two, three, four, yeah. five, six. Oh, oh good. One, good. two, three, five, six. You kill three, RC. Oh, yeah. yeah. Go on, RC. Everyone wants to see you do well here. Okay, well, I'm not going straight in. Oh, tennis balls. RC, oh, tennis balls, tennis balls. Don't let one of them hit you. Jeez, that looks terrifying in every way possible. 
Wow! That was actually really surprising, RC. How did you kill three of them? As long as you don't look backwards at your plane, you're fine. <laughs> you're fine. I'm still got all my flight. Alright, back round you go. Don't get lost, RC, come on. You got tennis balls all over you. Jeez, you don't want to see what we're seeing. All over the place. Oh, uh, ouch. <laughs> and it's down. All right. That was so cool. Well done, RC. I'm proud of you. You got, and I quote, one, two, three, four, five, six. So you got three again. That's actually very impressive. Right, valued viewers. So I think you'll agree that was an incredibly empirical, scientific, repeatable test. And he killed no 38. He killed three. Fearlong 38, and he killed three. Both wars. Uh, what we learned there is that it's cool and RC is a little bit silly and a little little bit jibbity. That's as far as I think we'll go with it. We've learned some things, but not very much. Anything you want to add to that, RC? Nope. Goodbye.